Hey guys, today I'm going to be going over the Digilent EPP protocol, uh, specifically Hamster's Performance Project. This is going to be more of a copy-paste uh, code tutorial, but it'll hopefully help you out in implementing the EPP protocol in future projects. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get the C++ code compiled and running. So I'm just copy that code go to Visual Studio, it's our new project, and then once that loads, we're going to make a console application, I'm going to change the location right now, C++, digital and EPP, and then I'm going to call this hamster EPP, select that folder, Call this project hamster EPP console application next. Should pop up and everything should be fine, so just press finish. Yep. And then after the project creates, I'm going to paste the code in and add some header files. So I'm just going to paste this code in right here, I just left the top part. I'm going to get rid of this include since the include is up here and it's a little bit different, the capitalization is a bit different, so I'm just going to get rid of that one, save it, and we also need to include these uh, three header files. You can get those from the Digilent website, and I'm going to download those right, right now, S Digilent SDK. And should be this first one, Adept 2 Digilent. And I have my Windows, so I'm going to download this one. Or not the system, SDK. Save it. And I'm just going to go there, downloads, and it's done so where is it show and folder oh zip so we gotta unzip it extract it to the folder it's done so go to that folder and then go to the include files and select those three files which were dp DCL uh, right here DEPP and DMGR right there then you want to go to your project file and paste those into the project folder where all the other CPP and H files are paste those in and now those should be good add them right here to the header file section, existing items, and then just browse from them right in your project, so right at the top, add, and there include it. Next we gotta include the lib files. So you wanna go back and just copy this whole lib folder, control C, go back to the project file, paste that in there. Oh, there it went. And then you wanna go to Project have properties and it should be under linker configuration options and linker. So you're going to want to add as an additional library directory. Just go right here, edit, and then click a new line, browse for the lib folder, select it, press OK, apply. And what you're also want to, going to do is go to input and add that as additional three files in it as additional dependencies. Specifically, you're going to want to add depp.lib, dpcom.lib, and dmgr.lib. Press OK, apply, and it should compile. Save it. Let's try to run. 
Well, that's compiling. We can uh, move on to the BHDL module. I'm using Xilinx, so I'm just going to copy this whole thing. Oh, looks like it ran. There's no device, so that's what it's telling us right now. Looks like it compiled successfully, so that's good. Minimize that. So copy this VHDL code. Oh, right there. Go to Xilinx, new project. And create a new folder for that. Call it hamster EPP. Oh, wrong folder, that's why. I'm just going to rename it because I spelled it wrong. Okay, there we go. Name it. Next, HDL. I'm using the Spartan 3 um, Digital Link Basis 2 board, so all these settings are correct for that. Finish. Uh, create a new source. I'm going to call it whatever this is called. You can call it whatever you want, but the file will be renamed DPI MREF. REF, VHDL module, press next, fish press next and finish. Okay, paste that code in there, save it. We're going to want to change something. Yep, one thing I forgot is in the C file, we need to change this, at least for me, I need to change it to the basis 2 board. So, where is it? Right here, Nexus 2, I need to change this to basis 2. Save that. Alright, I canceled that because I forgot to add the UCF file for all the connections. So we need to go to implement implementation constraints file, name it constraints, press next, finish, and copy the constraints for whatever board you have. I'm using the basis two. Right there. Paste those in, save. So what you do is you go to process and then process properties, start up options, train CCLK to JTAG, clock, apply, OK. And now you have to regenerate the programming file. All right, the file is done, so now we can browse for it again and program the board. OK, so now the board is programmed. As you can see, um, there's some glitches on it. There's one last thing I forgot to do on before you synthesize it, um, you should follow these instructions like it says. So go to right click on synthesize uh, properties and then go to HDL. And right here, when it says auto, go to none. Apply. And now we have to resynthesize. All right, the synthesization got done again. So let's program it. Go to program. Now you can see that there's no glitches on the board. Um, okay, so now that's done. You can press Control F N F five, uh, like that. Control F N F five, and that'll run the console without closing it right away. Outputting. As you can see, the board's lit up and everything's running. And after 10 seconds, it should display how many bytes were read. So right there, um, looks like 133 3, million, let's see here, 13,300,000 3, bytes in 10 seconds. Press any key, and that's how fast the board goes. You can run it again and probably get a little different number. Outputting, blinking again. Focus. And as you can see, 14,000, uh, 7 million bytes. And that's how you get the Digital EPP Hamsters project running.